All right, boys, we're gonna be playing some heavy tank Germany. Skipped out on surfing because it doesn't look that great today, but I've been practicing this over the last two days and uh, we're on elite Iron Man mode with historical AI here. First thing we're gonna start off with is a tech juggle. Our Civ ramp is gonna be predicated upon construction. So the speed run, you largely ignore construction create separation through conquest. With this run, we're gonna try to create some separation with the MIFO bills, which Germany has. See the military factory construction speed is 25%. Refinery construction speed, 15%. So really good buffs there. So right now, if we could get 22 air XP in Somalia, that would be awesome. So I just want to make sure that my air bases look clean. They're not overstacked because air efficiency is a thing. They okay, were already getting two. Don't send fighters. Fighters won't work. A lot of players get that wrong. You're not going to be able to grind air XP with fighters. Ethiopia doesn't have an air force. So let's transition these slots. The first one's going to be electronic mechanical engineering. And then the second one, I, th I think we just plop it on fighter two. So our construction time was reduced by 223 days. Our construction research and the basic machine tool research was down by another 30 days as well. With that method, uh, we won't be juggling anymore. We will juggle the fighter two and the heavy tank one and two. But that should be it. I think that you can get confused in the juggling process to where it doesn't net you anything, really. You don't juggle uh, properly. We'll start off with form the department. Here's our construction. We're going to be using Logi 2. So we're going to need a lot of support equipment. AA is a thing if we can't support attack with these boys. Grind a little bit of army XP would be nice. And we have a spy available. Just building civs is going to net you better than anything else. Civ conversions were always a myth. Converting your civs or your mills to civs and then back again uh, makes zero sense. Me and Cloak are on the same page about that. And I think he's proved the math on that. It takes like twice as long to convert a mill to a sieve than back to a mill. So there's no point in doing that. First thing we're going to get in all cases is going to be free trade with Germany. And then the big ciphers here to get is France, UK. Someone in chat say something. Why is no one talking? Okay, radio interception group. And we got more than 22. Perfect. That's that. 25, I'll take that. And 25 air XP. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go independent air force, air advisor cost down negative 75%. We're going to grind air XP through air advisors. And this looks pretty cringe, but for my testing, it's kind of necessary to start taking days off the fighter two just to get it by like mid 38. Let's get the collabs on France first. And I'm thinking about a collab on Poland as well. Another thing that I was thinking about, I suppose you could get collabs on Czechoslovakia, which would be pretty OP for like your snowball ramp. Could try to do that here. I already put my spy over here in France though. So let's get the first collab off on France. We'll test it today. We'll go and try a collab on Czechoslovakia. Also, Civ juggling, not a thing. We're not going to be doing that one. And we're going to be skipping Yalmar Schacht because he's worth about a half. A half of one Civ. So no point in getting that. Okay, we got electronic mechanical engineering. Let's hold for a second. So yes, we did waste the first 100 bonus on dispersed one. And then we're going to do the second bonus on construction too. Mainly you get dispersed industry so that you don't go blue. 
And the main thing that we're trying to protect here is the 80 slots. So it gives you more space to build the more dispersed industry that you have. And we're trying to build in the higher infrastructure spots so that we build faster. And we're saving the Reich's Autobahn provinces here for the refineries. So that's largely the thing. We're gonna save political power up for the Spanish Civil War. So if we're juggling within, we already applied the bonus to this, it will not waste a bonus. As long as we don't add something that applies the bonus. Go. First thing we're gonna do is improve relations. Then we're gonna start send vol sending volunteers. So we'll get our air wings down there first off. Okay, we'll wait one more day and then we'll juggle off this and on to heavy tank. And as you can see, the 100 bonus from four year plan, the second 100 bonus is preserved. All right, so let's stay on this screen. This needs to be up to 20 and then they'll accept our attache, send attache. Now what that enables us to do is go war economy, which will immediately give us like three sieves or something like that. It'll be three or four sieves. It's hard to tell because we're gonna be doing collaboration governments and stuff like that. We need to stop at 150 political power. Okay, there's autarky. Now we're gonna go into Herman Goering work, make sure that they attack aggressively and I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Hopefully we can grind a trait or two on von Munstein. Okay, let that pass a day. And we get our first collab. So what we wanna do here is prioritize operations not build anything because it does require some number of guns to do that operation. Okay, second bonus is gonna go on construction here. So we're gonna try to get the bonuses from construction as fast as possible. Okay, so that's in preparation. Let's start training some divisions here. I wanna make sure that we meet the requirements of Anschluss. Okay, Dispersed Industry 1 and Dispersed Industry 2 is not going to be very hard to get to. So we'll go after that. Not worried about machine tools yet because there's not really much worth producing with the machine tools. The machine tools will raise production efficiency cap, which means that all of this equipment will come out faster, but I'm not really too concerned with that because it's kind of garbage equipment that you start off with until we get the Fighter 2s, Cast 2s, Heavy tank one, that's gonna be the equipment that we're gonna to wanna to start our production ramp with. And there we go. So we're gonna have war economy first, and we've got 12 sieves. So we go from 12 sieves to 15, so that was three. But after the agents run their operation, we're gonna get a lot more sieves than that. Okay, boom. So the factory work is completed. And then boom, we got 13 more sieves. So I'm pretty sure war economy is equivalent to, let's just say, <clears throat> I think it's worth four sieves. So we're now going to get the four air advisors. So the first thing we're gonna do is independent air force. And then I also think going centralized control air mission efficiency is worthwhile. So we'll pick that up as well because they're gonna be able to run more missions. So I think that that's gonna be quite important. And then we're gonna start picking up all the air advisors that we can. So Kessel Ring 0.16 daily, that's gonna be really good. I mean, there's gotta be something wrong with chat, right? There's no way I have 15 people in chat and no one's saying anything. Chat is broken. All right, we'll restart the stream, I guess.